Hi, everybody, and welcome. Oh, there's a big beetle on the window. Gross. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a Costco haul to share with all of you guys. I'm super excited because I got a lot of really healthy options at Costco this time, and I wanted to share them all with you. Um, so let's get started. Ooh, it's hot outside, and I had to carry all this stuff inside. Okay, so the first thing I saw here were broccoli. I make chicken teriyaki a lot and I cook a lot with broccoli. It seems like more in the summertime I have uh, broccoli and I saw this and it was on sale and this is just by Taylor Farms. It's not organic but it is pre-washed. It says keep refrigerated. What I'm going to do is actually freeze this because obviously I won't be cooking all of this at once and it probably will go bad fast. Um, and that's what I do with a lot of my fruits and vegetables is I freeze them. So this gigantic ginormous broccoli. Oh, yeah. That big bag was $4.79. So I thought that that was a really good deal. I did also pick up some bananas. They have organic bananas and regular bananas, but I don't know, you guys. I'm a little bit like confused on the whole organic thing. Which fruits are safe to get that are not organic? Which ones are? And I feel like because bananas have an outer shell or like an outer peel on them, it should be fine. And I use these for smoothies anyway, so picked up the banana. I picked up some Brussels sprouts here. And I got two packages of them. I'm going to cook one of them for the week and then freeze the other one for the next week. And these are already pre-washed. Oh, no, they're not. It says wash before use, keep refrigerated. They are, let me see, where does it say how many ounces? About 10 cups. 10 cups are in each one of these. So that's a really good deal. The Brussels sprouts were $4.49 each. And then I also picked up some organic, no, these are not organic. Why do I keep on goofing up and saying organic and not? Anyway, um, I picked up some regular mangoes and these are the frozen mangoes. I got these for around $10. And I've had this before and I really, really like these for smoothies. I usually pick up a pineapple, a mango, and a strawberry, but um, I'll show you in a second why I did not get the frozen strawberries, and I already had a uh, frozen pineapple left over, but yes, these are the, oh yeah, they are organic. <sighs> what am I thinking? You guys, it's so hot here. It's like frying my brain. And then I had to get this salad kit. Now, there were a whole bunch of different salad kits. I didn't know really what I was looking for and what I wanted. Some of them kind of looked coleslaw-ish, and I really don't like coleslaw, so I don't know. I got this one, it was $4.99, and I believe, let me see how many servings are in here. Four servings, so that's pretty good. Um, it is the spinach and wheat berry one, and it is a salad kit that includes baby spinach, red cabbage, carrots, country Dijon mustard dressing, which I love, and wheat berries. What is a wheat berry? Herb season crouton, sliced almond, and dried cranberry. So good. What is a wheat berry? And then I picked up some cheese for one was $4.59, the Colby, and the other one um, was $4.49, but I picked up the block cheese, and I know you guys, I had to get cheese. I'm from Wisconsin. I figured that this would be really good to shred on my own and it would be probably less expensive to do it that way rather than buying the um, bagged shredded cheese and you just, you don't know really what's in it. Um, it's like really packaged and stuff. This stuff probably is too, but this is the Kirkland brand on both of them. And I just, I thought it was a really good deal. And whenever I'm there, I always have to pick up my bagels. These were $5.50 for two huge packages. This is the Einstein Brothers bagels. Um, they are, I guess, well known. I didn't know that they were. But these are the Parmesan bagels. And oh my gosh, you guys, they are so so good. So this is like something that I would not obviously have every day. Maybe once a week I will have one of these bagels. And um, I mean, my kids come over enough where, you know, they can share as well. But I do keep these in the freezer because otherwise they just wouldn't last. And then I also, again, I don't know if you guys have seen my other hauls from Costco, but I got the lots and lots of pizzas. This was a two pack of pizzas for $9.99. So five bucks a pizza. Usually these go for, I think, 
think like nine or twelve dollars each so this was a really good deal but this is by brew pub pizza if you guys have not tried lots of matzos and you don't really like frozen pizzas try these because i really feel like you guys would like these the cheese that they use on this is like real authentic cheese it's not that gross crappy stuff and then whenever i go to costco i always get this this is the gh craters uh chicago mix popcorn this is huge what i usually do is i open up the bag right away dump it all out and portion it all out into single servings so then that way whenever i just want like a sweet treat i can quick grab but this stuff is so good you guys um it is buttery caramel corn and rich cheddar cheese and did i say how much it was i can't remember it was uh, $4.99. And I also got these strawberries for $7.99. You guys, this is a huge tub of strawberries. What I plan on doing with these is um, I plan on washing them, cutting them, um, you know, chopping them in half, and then um, actually freezing them for my smoothies. So I might eat a few of them uh, today and then just freezing the rest of them for my smoothies. But um, it is a lot cheaper to buy them this way than it is just to buy them pre-packaged. thing that I got that was on sale, this was $13 for some um, Starbucks Frappuccino, 15 count. So that's a really good deal. This is the Starbucks Frappuccino vanilla flavored. And I used to get these all the time, but then just kind of veered away from it because it was pre-packaged and because I was just going to the Starbucks store a lot. Um, but I haven't really been to Starbucks lately. And... Oh, Oh, I'm white. And, um, yeah. So that's my Costco haul. I would have gotten some K cups, but there was drama at Costco and I just kind of wanted to get out of there, um, and run. And I did. I got out of there and I ran. So anyway, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Periscope, Tumblr, Twitter, Snapchat, all of it every single one of it. YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to me here because this is where you're watching me. And have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.